June 23rd, 2012 was just like any other flight plan, any other mission that I had been on out in Afghanistan. Inform ATC on initial contact. You received information filter. We were meant to be dropping off supplies, and we were supposed to be moving forward to pick up some Marines that had gotten into a sticky situation. Toronto International Airport information filter. En route to those Marines, my helicopter went down. I had trauma to my cervical spine, to my lumbar spine, severe trauma to my face. I lost my jaw, I lost all my teeth, damage done to both arms. I had a, a pretty severe traumatic brain injury. I really struggled with my memory, word retrieval, word recognition. One of the hardest parts of my recovery was the doctors coming to me. They were basically like, it's inevitable, you're going to lose your leg. They had to go through the knee, and then two days later, actually go above the knee. That was a tough loss for me, because I had mentally prepared to be a below-the-knee amputee, and then come to find out a few weeks later, I was missing 14 more inches of my leg. After I was injured, I thought I lost everything. I thought I lost my purpose. I didn't know, you know how I was going to fit myself back into society. I was actually um, laying in, in the hospital, and a group came in and said, how do you feel about learning a winter sport? And of course, I'm going to do whatever looks cool. And you know, I said snowboarding, even though I was advised not to. <laughs> and then this like, crazy idea of the Seven Summits came around. And that's when rock climbing came in. The sports that I'm participating in right now, I never was doing with two legs. And to me, that's just pretty wild to think about. I'm blown away that I'm upright and I'm doing the things that I'm doing. Um, and if you would have asked me in um, December of 2015 if I was going to be able to fathom the things that I'm doing now, I would have told you you're insane. We all too often get so wrapped up in the things that we can't do or the things that we aren't able to do. And that's not the case at all. The six inches between your ears and what's behind your rib cage, that really makes a difference. I have had the worst recovery of anybody I know with 44 surgeries, years of therapies, years of learning how to use my brain and body again, but I've yet to let it beat me down.